What's up guys? How's it going? Um, picked up a set of racing seats for the 350Z. Uh, they're kind of in bad shape. Uh, except they're originally blue and they, were, they got dyed black. I don't think the dye really uh, you know, hear it all that well. Um, they're in pretty bad shape. They're kind of beat up. But uh, pretty much, I think I got a pretty good deal on them. I uh, traded the factory seats that were in the red 350Z for these, so it was just a, an even trade. Um, yeah, I went and picked up uh, a couple cans of this stuff. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work, but uh, I've already kind of wiped them down and cleaned them up the best I could. But yeah. it worked for now. Um, but uh, like I said, the last event I went to, the last drift event, well, the only drift event I went with the 350Z. I was doing more holding on than I was actually driving. So I need some seats pretty bad. Um, I actually ordered one of the pro car seats from Summit, but it's well, it was taking a very long time for it to come in. It was on back order for a while, probably like a month. When this deal came about, like as soon as the deal went down, I just canceled my order. So I'm gonna paint these or you know, dye these guys, whatever you want to say throw them in the 350Z and I'll probably take pictures of the uh, the seats that are in now because they're in decent shape and try to sell those guys. Maybe try to sell these once they're all cleaned up and uh, that right there should give me enough money between the two, selling the two sets of seats to buy actually a nice set of seats. So, But yeah, I'm gonna give this stuff a shot real quick. Um, just see if it helps, if it makes the seats look a little better, and then we'll get them thrown in the 350Z. So, let's give it a shot. Right, guys these things turned out pretty good uh, they're still beat up and ugly but I mean from a distance they look, they look pretty good <laughs> but check them out real quick like I said they're definitely not perfect but man what a difference <laughs> they were looking pretty rough um, like I said they have kind of a, a texture to them it's not too bad and like so you know obviously it's not going to cover up like these cigarette burns um and stuff like that but and you can still see like i guess that's like the spring is there a spring behind this yeah i don't I have no idea where that little design come from or pattern but yeah like so they're not perfect but they look a whole lot better and i basically just took <laughs> some uh some of my Lexan RC paint and just went back with a brush and kind of, uh, you know, basically painted the, the lettering back white so they look, look pretty legit. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with them. It's definitely not perfect, but, you know, for a set of seats I have literally no money in, I mean, they, they turn out pretty good. Um, I guess, oh, let me get you around here. I guess I'm gonna, uh, pull the 350s there and move the, I gotta clean this garage. It looks horrible. But anyway, I'm gonna push some stuff back and uh, get the Z in here and put the seats in. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that real quick and we'll see what they look like in the car. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the Z over here. I'm about to pull the uh, seat out of it and go ahead and throw the racing seats in it. 
I actually let them sit for like a couple of days. Um, they were smelling pretty strong, so I don't want to throw them in the car just yet. But it turned out pretty good. Like I said, I'm uh, pumped on it, so. Yeah, we're gonna snatch the old seats out. Go ahead and throw them in and see, uh, see how they do. The seats aren't in too bad a shape. Got a little spot there and there, but. You know, this is just for like, um, just for drifting, I guess, because like I was holding on to everything at that last event. So throw these in real quick and uh, see how they work out. Okay, as you might expect, the seats fit in the car pretty good, except for the angle. Um, they're kind of pitching you forward a little bit, and that I can't drives me crazy. So I'm gonna have to take these things to to the house, uh, cut the bracket in the back, lower the back of the seat a little bit. That way, I can actually sit in the seat comfortably. So it's got to go back a good bit. I'd say like I'm probably gonna have to cut. Um, I don't know, probably, probably an inch off the rear of the uh, seat bracket, so. Oh well. So maybe tomorrow when it's not raining, we'll go to the house and uh, cut these guys off and break out the welder, weld them back together, and hopefully that will actually make them fit for the time. But what can you do? Okay, well, I got them both in the car for now. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the car. I'm gonna post the, uh, put the factory seats up for sale. Um, not really, I don't know, I'm not really happy with it. Uh, like I said, I'm never gonna drive this car really unless I'm going to a drift event or something like that, which I'll probably end up driving it to a lot of events, so that might be an issue, but we'll just have to see how they go. Um, but you, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about with the driver's seat. It's like, I don't know, it's odd. I mean, look, I don't know if someone done that on purpose, but it has like, it's leaned way, way far forward. I don't, I don't get that. The passenger seat feels pretty good. Like, you know, when you sit in it. Ugh. The dyed seat thing is going to kill me. Oh well, yeah, I'm not too happy with them, but I mean, they'll serve their purpose. Basically, got a free set of racing seats, and I'll make a little bit of money on the off the factory seat. So, I 
I probably won't do anything to the passenger seat, but I'm definitely gonna lean the driver's seat back more. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's like, I don't know why somebody would do that. But it'll be an easy fix. I'm just gonna cut the, cut the bracket on the back, set it down and just re-weld it. They're ugly and beat up, but yeah, like I said, they'll serve their purpose. Oh, another thing I hate. They're actually hitting right here. You can kind of see they were in the 350Z. You can see where they were rubbing the door. So I'm about to put something right here to protect my door because I really don't want to mess my, you know, my doors up. But I do want the car to stay pretty clean or you know as clean as possible. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for now. <laughs> uh, next time you see the Z, we'll hopefully be at the drift event this weekend. Um, if I make it to it, if not, maybe finishing up, putting the badges on it and some stupid little things like that. I may try to make it look a little bit better. But for now, that's it. I hope you'll consider subscribing, sticking around, and uh, see you out there, guys. Check it out.